Hello, this is Kate from dailytarotgirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this week's reading, I am using my newest deck, which is the Heart and Hands Tarot. It's a pretty cool deck. It's actually a black and white deck. And um, this is the first uh, black and white deck that I've um, ever had. So this will be an interesting reading. This is actually gonna be my first reading with this deck. Okay. So I'm going to start by drawing three cards, and each card is going to represent a portion of the upcoming week. And I just want to get a little bit of a overview or a kind of a snapshot of the kinds of themes and um, energies of the upcoming week. Okay, so the first card is going to be Monday and Tuesday. And we've got Eight of Pentacles. So Eight of Pentacles is a card, I always think of like hard work when I see this card. This is about um, working towards something, you know, putting your nose to the grindstone, putting in the hours, and just really kind of working uh, diligently and consistently towards something. So there's a few things that kind of come into my mind when when I think of this card, um, <laughs> I think of, it's usually about like mundane kind of work. Like this is not about doing exciting work towards something. And I, I don't know if, I mean, everyone's had that experience. I think when you're working on any kind of like project, there's parts of that that are going to be like really juicy and fun and rewarding. And then there's always parts that are monotonous. Like for me working on my business, like I love creating new content, but then there's also that part of, you know, doing kind of like boring website maintenance and and stuff like that that's like not really that <laughs> exciting. So this card um, can, the message is that the beginning of the week is a good time to do things like housework, um, things like housework or any kind of like maintenance type things um, that kind of need to be done. Uh, like bookkeeping or I don't know um, mowing your lawn <laughs> you know things like that and I feel like this card is a reminder that there can be uh, beauty in the mundane and I think sometimes we approach these kinds of activities like they're chores and we like have to do them but there can be um, a real sense of almost escapism in doing these kinds of activities like uh, um, I know sometimes housework like you can just kind of you know especially if it's like monotonous housework like you know, washing floors or, or whatever. I mean, all housework, I guess, is monotonous. Um, but you can kind of get into a groove where you sort of like almost get into like a trance-like kind of meditative state with it. And what I like to do is I like to, to download a bunch of really good podcasts and or really good music or something and just put them on my iPod and I just kind of plug into that while I'm doing housework. I think the reason I'm thinking about housework so much is I have like a whole bunch of housework I have to do this afternoon. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I feel like this card is saying, you know, um, there can be beauty and an enjoyment in so doing some of those, um, monotonous type activities. Okay. So Tuesday or no Wednesday, Thursday, that's what this card represents. And we've got princess of wands. Ooh. Okay. So princess of wands, um, in some decks, the princess would be, uh, the page. So princess is just another word for, for page. Um, now the suit of wands is a very exciting suit and wands have to do with creativity and taking action and um, especially taking action on your passions and using that kind of passionate energy and um, enthusiasm to let that guide you in the world and let that kind of fuel your your actions and your motivations and your decisions and pages or princesses um, they represent the kind of slightly more inexperienced side of this suit so um, quite often the princesses will be seen as like students so and actually if you look at this card um, this woman who actually appears a little bit older she does she's not like a young 
princess. She actually looks a little bit older to me. Um, so she actually has some experience, but maybe her experience is in one of the other suits in like, you know, something else. And she's learning about um, the suit of, of wands. So she's got her glasses on, she has her pencils behind her ear, and she's looking at this book. And um, I almost get the sense like she's studying up on kind of that wand-like energy and, and what that entails. Um, so I think that the middle of the week, um, I guess a literal kind of interpretation of this would be it's a good time to kind of study up and learn more about what your passions are and what drives you what you're enthusiastic about and also really observe um, what kind of actions you've been taking in your life. So what kind of decisions have you been making lately? What kind of actions have you been taking? And are your actions in the world, are they, do they represent what you're passionate about? Because I think a lot of us sometimes will take a lot of action towards things that we actually are not passionate about. So it can be kind of an interesting exercise to really um, even just like get a piece of paper and write down point form all the actions that you've taken so far today even like mundane stuff like you know got out of bed had breakfast um, you know went to the post office or whatever like all those things and then think about what you're passionate about and see how like do those actions mesh with you know what you're enthusiastic about and what you love okay um, Moving on to the last card. This card represents Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And, oh, beautiful. We have another Wands card. So here we've got the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands, um, to me, is a card of kind of harmony and um, things coming together. It's a very happy card. It's It represents, you know, the times in our life where we feel like all is well and you know we've succeeded at something we feel successful um, another way that this card is sometimes depicted is a guy I think the Rider Waite version has a guy on a horse and he's kind of riding into town and people are like celebrating him and kind of cheering and clapping and um, and and you can see here in this card there's like the hands up and it's almost like those hands are like in the process of clapping. So I feel like the weekend is a time to celebrate and it's a time to celebrate your achievements and your accomplishments. And um, it's important to do this no matter where you're at. So I think some of us believe that we have to wait till we've actually achieved something big before we can give ourselves accolades and, and really celebrate. And I just really encourage you to, um, again, I'm gonna say like make a list. <laughs> make a list of all the things that you know, you've know you achieved so far. Um, you know, what, 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 what has been your big achievement so far? What are you most proud of? And um, it can be amazing, like if, you, if you're in that place in your life where you're, you're feeling like you haven't achieved much, it can be amazing if you kind of really put your mind to it and, and figure out, you know, what have I achieved? And sometimes it's important to, to recognize the achievements that other people wouldn't necessarily recognize. Um, so I'm not talking about achievements like, uh, you know, particular jobs or career success or financial things or, or whatever. I mean achievements like, you know, what have you, um, what has been your role in the world? And I think one thing on a personal note that I feel like I've achieved um, that I just kind of noticed not too long ago is I thought, you know, I haven't, I, I haven't made the world a worse off place. <laughs> you know, if, 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 even in small ways, I've made the world a better place by being here. I haven't added to the pain and suffering that um, is in the world. And I think that that is an achievement and that's something to be celebrated. Even like I haven't, you know, saved any lives. I haven't done anything massive or anything like that. But I feel like, wow, I actually have, you know, lived a few decades and I haven't really contributed to the pain unless you unless you count like producing a lot of garbage which I have done anyways <laughs> so um, I encourage you to, to do the same thing this weekend and um, and I want to invite you to share your own interpretation of these cards if there's anything that stood out to you or something that you want to mention, feel free to mention it in the comments below. So that has been your weekly tarot card reading. My name is Kate. I'm from dailytarotcall.com and thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week.